I hope you're having a good first day when it comes to the Shanghai Auto Show. Xpeng of late has faced some tough times. I'm just wondering, how do you plan to kind of turn the ship around now? Well, I think uh, it all come back to product as well as uh, you know, making sure that we launch the, the product that consumer can embrace and also with the technology and efficiencies to really get the econ economic scale that we want to achieve. Um, two days ago, we actually launched our new uh, architecture, which we call SEPA 2.0. It's a smart electric platform architecture that really combines all the technologies that we have developed over the years into one complete platform architecture that includes the, you know, the, our intelligence, uh, uh, the autonomous driving plus smart cabin features. It includes the powertrain technology, the 100 volt silicon carbide platform, includes the smart manufacturing technologies, and all of that in a scalable platform that actually aim to deliver multiple models of R&D that reduces R&D costs and also shortens R&D cycles that give us the ability to compete aggressively with the industry peers. And as you mentioned, uh, we have seen uh, some you know, uh, pressure starting the second half last year as well as uh, in the first half this year. Some of those are industry related, some of those are related to our product cycle because you know, last year we saw some of the older models feeling pressure from competition. And we need to come up with our new product cycle to counter that. That's why we launched, for example, two months ago, the P7i, the completely upgraded version of the P7. And today, in the Shanghai Auto Show, the first day, we just launched our next mid-sized SUV, G6, which we believe will be really, you know, industry, you know, setting in terms of technology as well as competitiveness. Brian, I want to then talk about pricing strategy and your path towards profitability because there's a price war going on, as you would know, and you're also trying to bring down costs with this new introduction that you talked about. They're combining all your new technologies. What exactly is Xpeng's pricing strategy this year amidst everything that's going on in many segments of the auto market there? Well, I think that there's no uh, escape in this uh, highly competitive industry that one, you need to be really producing differentiated products that customers can appreciate. And that's why we focus on leading technologies in the autonomous driving area. For example, the XNGP feature, which recently OTA to our customers on G9 and P7i, really gets great, you know, great reviews. And people start to real, the, realize the difference of that technology in their daily driving patterns. We also want to uh, use our technology to make sure that our production, R&D, and all aspects of our business can be as efficient and cost you know, competitive as well. That's why we launched the SEPA 2.0 architecture. But above all, is what you know, we need to use more new models to increase sales and scale. And that is, uh, you know, I think, the cornerstone to get back to the track of probability. So we're very excited about these new products. We see very ex exciting signs of momentum from the P7i launched two months ago, and we are expecting the G6, which debuted today, will, will be uh, start delivery at the end of this quarter, be another uh, volume driver for us. So with those new products, as well as all the technology efficiencies and changes that we mentioned, we feel like we'll be on a solid footing to regain sales momentum. And I think uh, that with scale and with technology and cost savings, I think it gets us back on track towards you know, probability and break even in two years. Brian, how are you going to pay for it? And also, what about your international ambitions? Uh, would they perhaps uh, plug the gap? Well, I think, first of all, we see great uh, opportunity from an international market. Uh, you know, EV and smart EV technology should not just be limited to one country. And we believe our products and technology is very competitive and offers a very attractive proposition to global customers. But we also realize you know, it's a long journey. Uh, it's not gonna immediately jumpstart uh, 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 large volume sales in many countries. We started in Europe. Uh, we started selling the P7i as well as G9 in the four European countries right now. And this year we aim to deliver started in summer in those countries. We will also expand to additional countries by later this year. But the pace will be measured. Uh, and also I think uh, you know, it will take probably several years 
is to build a global brand and, and, and market presence. But I think in a few years, we will see you know, contribution from global sales become a very meaningful part of our business. And that's, that's certainly our goal.